Smashing pumpkins. The airplane flies high. Turns left, looks right. Okay, so I'm going to be arranging this in kind of a simplified drop D flat tuning. Uh, so basically, we're only going to drop one string just to keep it simple and try to be as accessible as possible with this. Um, so we'll take the low E, drop that down to the D flat that we need. All right, so everything else will stay the same. We'll have the A, D, G, B, E under it. So like I said, just trying to keep it a simplified drop D flat here instead of having to do every single string might be a barrier to some of the uh, more beginners watching this. But uh, with this tuning, it's pretty uh, straightforward. Um, for the power chord shapes, we're almost doing something that looks like a G. So if you know that, you're pretty set. And the main riff, this whole thing just kind of cycles through almost all of the song. It's uh, starting with the E power chord. So with this tuning, we'll get it at the three on the low D flat here. Then we'll have a two A, two uh, D here. So like I said, kind of a D looking shape. And that's how we're getting our power chord with this tuning. All right, so right, just strumming right on it. Um, quarter note style here. And that's eight strum there. Then we drop down, we'll hit this D power chord. So we'll have the one on the D flat here, and then the open A, open D. And with this, it's kind of a split measure. We go five strums on that. Okay, and now we need our low D flat power chord. So we'll come off, so we get the open low D flat there. Uh, but then we'll get the power chord with it by going four on the A to get an octave there, and then the six on the D for that A flat that gives it the five there. And that's how we'll get our D flat power chord. So we went five here with the one and the opens, and then we do three strums of the open D flat with the four A six D. All right, and that kind of walks us up anyway to the A flat power chord. So we'll have that at seven on the D flat with the six on the A and D. And with this, it's just a full eight strums. All right, carries over into the next measure a little bit. Three more strums on it. Zoom it up here for this B power chord. You can do it here, or you can just drop down to this version of it if you want. Um, I kind of like to just keep it all here. Uh, so we zoom it up here to 10 on the low D flat, 9 on the A and D there. And with this, it's just two strums of it. Okay, drop it down to a G flat now. So we'll have a 5 on the low D flat, 4 on the A and D. Just two strums here. And then basically, we just want a quick one hit of the D flat. So just lift off to the open. We already got our four on the A, and then just throw in that six on the D. Okay, so we went. And at that point, we just start from the beginning. Okay, we get a bit of a different dynamic just before the solo. Same chords, but we're just doing like single hits on them. So with the E, same deal there, three with the twos. Just let it ring. Drop down, hit the D at the one and opens. A quick little open D flat at the end of that measure. Into our A flat at the seven and sixes. Just let that ring, let it carry into that next measure but we do the same two hits of the B at the 10 and nines, two hits of the G flat at the five and fours, and then a quick open. All right, and then just start over from there. All right, and I'll give you some uh, examples of like the scale and some things happening in the solo here. Uh, for a bit here, we just kind of hang out here on the D string, we'll go uh, hammer on from four to six, with some vibrato on it, just. All right, and then you can do something like this where you hammer that on again, come down, hit the four G, and then bend the six on the G. Okay, come off to like that four G with some vibrato. Do a little 
D scale with the 4 to 6 D and then slide like the 4 A to 2 with some vibrato. And then you can get some high bends in here, something like this, like the 8 B, just give that a bend. Hang out at the top of it. And now we uh, finally switch up the riff a bit with the outro here. We start at the D, so the one D flat with the open A and D. Three hits there, come off to the open D flat with the four A6 D, four four strums. And then we get to our A flat at the seven and sixes and just finish it there. Repeat it. And the lead during that final riff, uh, it kind of matches the vocal. Uh, we're in that same four and six on the D here. Uh, we start at the six, give it a little bend and release, come off to the four quick, and then just kind of repeat that, like we're trying to mimic the vocal there. And then just kind of end it with that bend. And 